Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be doing a general chocolate tarot reading for the signs of Gemini. You could take what resonate and you could leave the rest. This is not going to be for every Gemini, but this will resonate for some. I'm taking past, present, and future. I will always read the book on the present. And I just will go over lightly and briefly about the future. I hate when these cards just turn around on me. If you need to know any more, you can email me at rcvrealestatebroker at gmail.com. And we could go over our prices and I could tell you about the chakras in depth. But other than that, I can't sit and go over like what chakras mean, what's this, what's that. Because it's a lot of them. It's only seven chakras, but it's like, let's say like five pages about each chakra, not including how to clear them and open them. So I can't do all that. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. Without any further delay, my card is already pre-shuffled. This is for the Geminis for 2020 in November. Wow. That came flying out home. Shelter, safety, nurturing, and work and warmth. In your past, you was worrying about your home a lot. I'm trying to wait. Sorry. You was worrying about your home a lot. As you see, the puppy. Like it was some sad things going on for your home life, is what I'm seeing. Universe, spirit guides. Okay. I only take the first two. No matter what the circumstances, I'm just taking three cards. The first one that came out was responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment about responsibility. I already could know what this means because I'll be reading a lot. It's about taking taking responsibility for things that happen that you had something to do and start taking responsibility about your feelings and your actions and your emotions and other things to do with yourself. I'm going to read the book on that. You also got the throat chakra. Your throat chakra right open. You do say a lot. You do you do talk too much sometimes. And um your throat chakra Basically, I had this whole this whole situation is blue and is located near your th neck. But sometimes, you know, you could be open, but you might be too open. And sometimes you need to like check yourself out and learn self discipline because that's what this card for your present is. Yellow is about your solar plex chakra location in your stomach area. You got to focus on your self discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment in your life and not others. So I already know what that means because. I dealt with Geminis and stuff, and they always got so much to say about others, but you lack self-discipline in yourself. You you don't take responsibility for your actions. You don't even fulfill your own fulfillment in your own life. So it's like you got to open yourself and start taking reliability on some actions. And I'm going to go to the book, and we're going to go see what it's talking about um, for the Geminis for November 2020 for you to figure out your life as well. It says... Responsibilities and self-discipline are, vit are vital in creating all things we want in life, from a healthy body and mind through to a successful career and happy relationships. This card is an invitation to smile at the opportunity to fulfill your responsibilities. That's just like what I was saying. Y'all don't take take responsibility for your own res responsibilities. Sometimes responsibilities feel like a burden as though they take away our freedom, but we actually need some responsibilities that gives us structure in our lives. By having this structure in our lives, we end up having more freedom rather than less. If we avoid responsibilities, we are unable to learn the basic le lessons of discipline and organized focus required to achieve our goals. May drift from one relationship, home, or job to another repeatedly, ending up in situations we don't want to be in, but not knowing why we ended up there. Once we take general, gen, genuine responsibilities for ourselves, we realize that the power to change is always right here with us. We stop blaming other people and external sources, and we become self-empowered. 
from the power and place we find the strength, drive, and energy to make the choices necessary to truly fulfill our desires. Next time you hear yourself blame someone for something, stop and ask yourself how can you take responsibility and help the situation. If you are unhappy in your job or relationship, what can you do to change it? If you need more money, how can you take responsibility action towards this today? Only you can be responsible for you with an exclamation point. On the other hand, if you are overly responsible for others, you may dispower them by not allowing them to take responsibility for themselves. We each need to learn our own lessons in life, to acknowledge our strengths, and to learn from our challenges. Know when you have played your part and when it's time to let the seed grow on its own. By taking responsibility for ourselves and embracing our responsibilities in life, we build a foundation towards a successful, fulfilling life. We become powerful individuals rather than dependent ones. We claim a sense of strength, freedom, and confidence that comes through discipline and self-mastery. From the place comes the realization that we can create anything we want to this lifetime. So basically is what I said. A lot of them will take responsibility and responsibility is things that's happening in your life, your children, your, your responsibilities as bills, food, whatever. Like you put everything or everybody else and you don't take action and that's a problem and bottom line and that's for a lot of Geminis and Geminis got two sides to them anyway and y'all oh it was his fault it was her fault oh, da, da. what was your fault what did you do to make this happen this way like come on and wake up that's why I don't really deal with Geminis like that I tried they 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 I'm not gonna say all but the 90% I dealt with they phony and they frauds and they always point the finger at everybody else except look in the mirror. And that's why I had to fall back from them. I don't I can't deal with a Gemini like that. I can't be around for all the area. And their and their and their um chakras is always unbalanced. Like right now it's saying you kinda imbalanced, but you not imbalanced with self discipline and stuff. Responsibility. You off balance with that which is solar plex chakra. You not you not standing up for responsibility. And most of them don't. The ones that have kids that I do know, they pass them on to somebody else to raise. Um, or they pass on a buck when they know they did something. They pass the buck and keep passing the buck. And it seems like it's something going on with your home life in the past. Maybe that's why you lack responsibility. But you like to open your mouth, though. Bottom line, I say it how I say it. I don't care who like it or not. If you, if you talk less... And focus on shelter, safety, warmth, and nurturing your family more and yourself. And take responsibility for things that happen in your life. You'll have a better you have a better life. And that's for anybody. But definitely for Gemini's, because that's who I'm doing a reading for. Universe Spirit Guide. One card come out for you guys to see what that is. Positive changes are taking place. Be patient. It says you're about to get some positive things, but you got to open up to the divine and start taking action in what you did. <laughs> Your responsibility and why things are what they are. Stop pointing the finger at everybody else. Because that's just how that shit roll. This is for my Gemini's for November 2020. What you need to work on. You don't know what chakras is. You better look it up. And don't say you know what it is. So people are like, I know what chakras know. You really don't. It's not knowing what it is. It's how to clear them, open them, make sure they stay balanced because it can mess you up. Believe me, I ain't letting nobody get me off balance like that. I, I'm cutting you first or put somebody in your place for a minute so I can get my groove back. That's how I'm like Stella got her groove back. That's how I'm rolling now. And that's for even if it's a man, a woman, that's my friend, anything. I'm going to put somebody in your place and make them take your space until my chakras get aligned and I'm going to let go slowly. That's how I'm doing starting November 2020. I, I, I ain't going to be all in my head, out of headache, feeling like I'm getting depressed or getting a cold or something. No, nah, it don't be none of that. It because somebody do something to get your chakras aligned and you all messed up. My bump them and move forward. My, my life is precious. I ain't got all day. Universe, spirit, guys, holy angels, please tell Gemini's what they need to know for November 2020. Mmm. You got a lot of cards that's, um, 
kind of reversed and halfway. First card you have is trickery. Maybe you coming up out of being trickery. Like, y'all do like to do a lot of tricks. Or maybe somebody is coming up out of being tricked by you. It could be either way. But you coming up out of this situation. Because this way is a lot of trickery. You coming up out of that. So that's a good situation. You also got lack of awareness. And that's true. It's about responsibility you 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 lack the responsibility of certain situations that happen in your life you coming up out of service for somebody so maybe you um basically when it's the, like the orange chakra is usually your sacra your sacral chakra that's your spleen like i was saying and it's 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 basically closed because you got to be of service to somebody besides yourself and it's reverse. So you might got to look in that and you got too much pride. And like, honestly, I don't even know why y'all got too much pride, but y'all got too much pride. And that's what it says. And it's dark blue. This your third eye chakra. So you got too much pride. You don't supposed to be having that much pride and you got to work on that. So I'm going to end a Gemini reading with you got to focus on what you did in your life. You know, to cause things the way they are and stop pointing a finger at somebody else and get your chakra balanced. Because right now with yellow, your solar plex chakra is literally shut and it's your stomach area. So you should like focus on, you know, yourself and not others. Peace, light and blessings to all. This is the Gemini reading for November 2020.